Okay, I'm gonna make an awesome video today on how to finally get these pesky tires on these wheels for your scooters or anything else that's similar to that. First, you wanna cut your, uh, yourself some blocks that are about nine inches by nine inches. I got three of them and I put holes in the middle of them because uh, this protrudes out and I want this to sit flat in there like that. And then um, you're gonna need some four three inch screws and you're gonna need four washers about that size. And you're going to need four zip ties and you're gonna need a drill with a Phillips head. Now you wanna get your zip tie and one of your washers, thread it through like this and put one inside the wheel like this. And just barely put that through so that it won't go anywhere. And so your washer's sticking out like that and you're gonna do four of these. Okay, so you got four sides here. One, two, three, four. Put the zip tie through like this. It's just going around the wheel. It could be a honeycomb tire. This is honeycomb or it could be a solid tire. doesn't matter. Um, have the screws so that they're, you know, barely hitting the, cat, the table here. And um, make sure that there's four sides of them and you got the zip tie going through the tire, then you have the washer, and then the screw is going through the washer. Okay, and you're gonna just make sure that it's just barely reaching, keeping in mind that you're gonna cinch this zip tie up a little bit at a time if you need to. So I'll start on the one side here. And then start on this other side. Or go here. And then make sure the base that you're screwing into here is a solid wood top, whatever table or whatever you have. Okay, I got it pretty cinched already. You don't want to do too much on one side. You want to do all sides about the same amount. So you just want to go around the four side just a little bit at a time. And the stronger these zip ties here, the better. And once you get it down around there and something's at least holding it for you, come in there with a um, with a wrench or a small crowbar and now that you have this helping you on the sides you think you get the idea maybe zip this down a little more as long as it's just you just want it to have a second hand here and it's holding it down for you. And then once you get to a certain point, you can, you might even grab another screwdriver over here, right? And pull down. So I got one screwdriver on this side over here and let's put another one over here. Careful not to damage the tire. And I'm just gonna hold those here while I drill this down a little tighter. Anything that'll help get this down over the, the side here. And you can pull these out, of course, once you get down to this point. And 
Oh, this is stuck, okay. There we have it. Wasn't too bad. And then once you've got it in there, put your screwdriver in again and position these around here, this tire. See how it'll fold inside there? You want that to touch the rim. Okay, now all you gotta do is cut these. And those will slide out. There you go. Do that to the front or the back tire. Just using some zip ties. Remember the strong, these zip ties aren't super strong. Um, if they were stronger, it'd be better. Make sure you get the right size washers and some three inch screws. That's all you need.